Upstairs we have the three kids' bedrooms and we're actually going to leave each of them exactly where they are. So this is where it's going to get really fun and we need to be really creative with all the finishes and colours in each of those spaces. I don't like how in this middle bedroom you just no. walk straight into that wall. So we need to do something about a built-in wardrobe that's yep. big enough. How do we increase the size of his room though? Because this room doesn't have a cupboard, and that room does, we're going to steal it from there and add doors on this side. Yeah, so just sort of harvey. And yeah. that, that's enough yeah. for a child's wardrobe. Yeah, and this will all be about how we design the room. Yeah, the styling. Style. Yeah, the styling. So the little girl is going to have this room. So here we're doing a built-in bed here with all beautiful interim detailing on the wall. And so when we say interim, we're not talking about skirting boards and architraves like we often do. We're talking about half wall panelling and moulding. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah. So Kai's room is the big one with the raked ceiling. It's a huge space for a young kid. He's a very lucky boy. Uh, I think we're going to have to get really creative in that space and work out how to use such a big area in a really fun way for a teenager's room. This is my favourite room. Oh, I just don't know where this has popped up from. I know. The ceiling. Isn't it's it so nice? Gorgeous. The key to this one is that in either side of these walls there's actually more space. You're kidding. We'll open up that door. Can you see that? Wow. So oh, it's like a big A-frame. So what we're going to actually do is utilise this space in here and build in built-in bunk beds in here. When they go to bed, there will be part of what is yeah, happening in their world. but that's a gorgeous little I know. nook. But when you say they, are we doing more than one bed in oh, here? Oh, just if he's got a friend over yeah. or if he... Yeah, we are. Are we knocking out all of it or are we going to do just a part or is it going to come... No, it'll all get knocked out, this whole wall. This whole wall? Yeah. This whole wall. Okay, what about that whole wall? No. Not touch? No. Just budget? Yeah, budget. And then we've got this little bathroom, which mm. is so little. It's the smallest one. Yeah. Um, yeah it's the smallest one. Very, very little. But we, we can't take the bath Tiny out window. because they need... That's their family bath. Well, they need a bath, a shower, a vanity and a toilet. It's a four-piece bathroom in a in tiny little room. bathroom. It's a, such a tricky one, square bathrooms. We can change the configuration of this. So bath here, yeah. small compact vanity here, toilet it sits more there so the door sits flat. It's just that the toilet is the first thing you see. So you pretty much, this is the space you can operate in. <laughs> I'm the hob of the bath. How do you feel if I am the bath? No, I feel okay about it. I feel really nice. You feel okay about that? <laughs> I feel really nice about it. No, I think it's fine. And maybe this is maybe. the first time we do a bath shower. I bet I make... So they've got the floor space. Yeah. Like to walk. To and then, out. but we make that mm. world that you're looking at with that bath shower, like mm. that tile on that wall is something amazing. The feature tile. Yeah. I, I think that's a great idea. Our hand is forced, you know? And I think yeah. it's good we haven't done one before and I'm sure that we can make it beautiful. So at the top of the stairs, the first bedroom on the right is Harley's bedroom. We're going to turn the single door rove into a cute little study nook and then we're actually going to push the wall back in slightly and create a robe for Harley. Bedroom two, which is for Jade, and we're going to build in a big double bed bunk bed with a single on top. The main bathroom, we're going to put a toilet behind the door. You're going to look straight ahead as you open the room into a beautiful built-in bath with a shower over the top. Kai's bedroom. We're going to use the cavity space behind the wall to build in two double beds with a study nook in between. So this is middle child's room. So middle child's room was there, this side, so it was even smaller. Smaller. Oh, well, they're getting bigger. Yeah. So at least now he's just gained an extra 800 and he's gained a cupboard there, which is good. Yep. So here, I'm thinking, um, yeah. I feel like we need to do something for the poor kid. Yeah. What about over here, the study nook? Instead of storage. Mm. Mm. Boy or girl? It's a, it's a boy. Yeah. yeah. What do they store? <laughs> Footballs. <laughs> well, you let me know if I can have a pendant or a wall sconce here and I'll make that work. Yeah. Yeah, cool. 
and then like we'll just do something amazing here and then he can just walk in. So when he walks into this room every day and he thinks, oh, a middle child, poor me, and this, oh, that's so amazing. A little hairier in the corner, you beauty. <laughs> Jade's room is a great size. We can do a lot of stuff in her room too. You know, maybe I found this image the other day of the built-in bed. Oh, she, I mean, she's desperate for a bunk, you know. So she has her cupboards here, and this, you can't really see it, but this is actually going to be, this is a bed yep. with a boom, 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 bunk bed on top of that. So that has to move to there. Yep. Two down lights, yep. fan gets removed so we don't decapitate her as she goes up the stairs. Wow, so this has all been ripped up? Yep. So what happened, why did we have to rip up the floor here? Well we had to pull the floor up here because this was um, the old compressed fibro sheets. Even if we waterproofed it, because they were, it was cracked, any bit of movement there could have broken the waterproofing. Oh, so the leak yeah. comes in, gets yeah. into the floors, yeah. and then yeah. so that particle board is literally that stuff that when it, it, it expands and then it falls apart? It'll just fall apart. It'll so fall what apart. are we putting down here now? Uh, we're going to use that secure floor. And do you like using that? Is it easy? I love using it. Yeah, got you. What's exciting me the most about this renovation is being able to see such an amazing transformation using the same bones of the house because you're just looking at basically the same four walls with totally different fittings on them. A reno school tip is to make the most of every little nook and cranny within your property. So this space here used to be a single door robe. We decided to deck it out and make it into a study nook. So just remember every little space of your house, every inch, use it as best you can. Now this bedroom here could be one of my favourites. So Bon has designed this double bed creation um, and I just love it. At the moment it's obviously not looking so pretty until it's painted but isn't this just gorgeous? Is this not every kid's dream? So this here was an existing wall all the way across here. So all we've done is give a robe to this room and then also a robe to that room. So where you can butt the robes up next to each other, it's a really good space saving idea. But the one thing I need to check out is there's a little inconspicuous PowerPoint down here, which I really don't know if anyone has noticed. Ryan, so what's this guy? Can we move that now that this is built in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And actually on the other side, yeah. there's gonna be a um, makeup station. Or yeah, a dressing table. Dressing table. <laughs> a makeup station. A makeup yeah. station. <laughs> So that cable will not go on the other side of the wall and okay. come up a bit for air dryers. Because you'll need power at a makeup stage. Yeah, at a makeup yeah. stage. So we're standing now in the eldest boy's bedroom and there has been um, the most change to this space. And so what we realised was there was more space this side than that side, just a little bit more. So we've got two double beds built in, which are amazing, a study nook on this side. Then what we've decided to do is put a doorway over this side and we're going to have this really cool storage space. The most challenging to design would have to be the upstairs main bathroom. It's so small. We needed a bath. We needed a shower. We needed a toilet. We needed a vanity. They all had to be there in a space of kind of like two metres by two metres. So this is the main feature of the bathroom, this tile here. And there's some pretty amazing tapware from Reese going in as well. I think this one took the girls quite a while to pick. I think Floss was very helpful at Tile Cloud with picking this one out. And I love it because I love blues. You know, blues is not something that Bon has traditionally gone for, but it really suits the style of this house. And um, yeah, you'll see quite a lot of blue popping up here and there. I think this is the best use of this space. It doesn't feel as long and skinny. Yeah, it just feels wider. It does, and I think once this tile, so this tile here, this will run up the bath like this. Yeah. We're getting Caesar stone on top of here. Color yes, because yes. that's the whitest one with yes, the grain. It is. You know, like imagine that Caesar stone on top of there yeah. as well. Yeah, and then yeah. up to that. So it's pretty nice, isn't it? These are gorgeous. And then so the tapware again here is just bloody gorgeous. But isn't that beautiful? And it's got the big telephone that sits on oh, top of it. Not a real telephone, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these handles, I mean, these handles are Hamptons. Yeah. If someone wants Hamptons, those handles, you can't go wrong. The eldest child.
child has like the best bedroom in the history of the world. The little girl, the youngest child, has the best bed in the history of the mm. world. And middle child is going to have the best interim panelling in the history of oh. the world. And is he going to care about that? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. So pretty much this panelling is going to go bang, 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 and then it joins up with ones that come all the way down. We're doing diagonals. Yes. Cool. And then he's got a study nook. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. cute. And see this bed here? Mm. This was going to be a built hanging bed. And that was like his cool factor. You're talking in the past tense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because Erin wouldn't let me have it. Oh, Erin, you're nasty. Or maybe I didn't get told that piece of detail because I thought the poor kid was going to think he was on a boat. Hanging. So it's not a budget Shh. issue. No, you, it, it was, was a boat a, issue. It was a budget issue, yeah. Oh, these weren't here last time. Oh, you love them. They make oh. such a difference, don't Just they? Just that little bit of detail. So is the idea she's going to sleep on the top and she has like a play area and friends can sleep underneath? She can really sleep, sleep wherever. But I think I'll style it so that's a proper bed up here. Yeah. And then I'll style that so it's more of a reading like a day. Like, yeah. a like a day bed, exactly. Yeah, just cleaning and myself. Hey, do we need to choose yeah. paint colours? So girls, I've pretty much done up all the jewel art samples here for the, the woodwork of the bed and the door. So it was pretty much a toss up between Seven Veils and Lip Gloss. Love the name oh. Lip Gloss. Yeah, I like it. I think it's exactly what we need. You want to yeah. go with Lip Gloss? Yeah, I think Lip Gloss is the one that we need to we need to use. Okay. So, yeah. So okay, so think when it's away from... So we're going to go Lip Gloss. Yeah. Do you like Lip Gloss, people? <laughs> The vanity looks amazing and Doesn't it? just these oh. scoop handles. Yeah, yeah, with the matching tapware. I love the chrome it. never looks so good. Oh, and this, the telephone yeah. is missing from it. Yeah. So there's a telephone for yeah. it. And then it's just going to be gorgeous. It's got a shower screen coming up here. Yeah. And then we've got Caesar Stone. Yeah. yeah Calcutta Novo going on top here. It's going to look the bomb in here. And clearly all the Reese toilets have been delivered today. Because yes. every bathroom we go oh, into, yeah. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, and there's a skylight being cut out of here. up doing um, quite well and it's also it's funny when I design bathrooms I don't just want them to be practical I want them to be really really beautiful so that balance of having it really beautiful still practical for a family was really difficult for me this time. Okay so then we come yeah. to the best bedroom in the history of the world. It is the best bedroom in the history yeah. of the world. It's I like mean, a playroom it's uh, not like it's even though they're beds. High ceilings you know? it's got double built-in beds it's got a desk space. And again, how lucky are we to have the yeah. windows? Tim French windows. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. All right, let's open these up and see what these new parkour doors look like. Delivered early as well. This is the second door delivery we've had early. So we had AWS the other day and now Parkwood Doors. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're, good, hey? they're nice. Nice. Holy moly, where does this one go, do you think? Uh, that's the bathroom door. You just know it like that. 720. Thanks for opening. Yeah. <laughs> you did cut it in, so I'm sure after being here for a <laughs> couple of nice. weeks, you know. These are so nice. So these are well, these are heavy duty, they're aren't they? They're, they're, timber. They're, they're a bit different to the doors we um a bit different to the doors we put at Morning House. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, full, full timber block work, yeah. Yeah, nice. And so we're painting them a block colour or two colours, do you know? I reckon the girls I'm will be not just... sure. Are not the painter? No, have to speak to speak to you there, don't I? Speak to the boss. Yeah. Alright, these are beautiful. I'm so excited to see these parkour yeah. doors go in. Oh my god, how amazing does this wall look? I think last time I was here, Bonnie was trying to explain this diagonal timber moulding that was going to go on and it is so cool, so unique. Gone are the days of just a feature wall where it's just one colour on one wall, but actually wrapping it around onto multiple walls is the way to go and it makes such a feature of the skirting boards with that pot of white. Absolutely beautiful, this little boy's room. Love it. So the doors have been hung and these are absolutely beautiful parkwood doors. And something I didn't know when I was renovating is you can get solid timber doors or you can get ones that are 
cheaper, but they're hollow on the inside. These are definitely not hollow. They're solid timber, and the benefit of that is just keeping the noise outside the bedroom um, and just providing more solitude and, and more of a sanctuary here. So these are the best quality doors I think we've ever used. Wow, and the gorgeous paneling. I can't wait to see these painted. The pink, the pink, the pink. It has come up so pretty. I was really worried when we were here last looking at the paint samples with Bonnie. I couldn't see the pink brightly enough and I was worried it was gonna to be too pale. But this is just right um, for a little girl. I know my daughter would love this. Oh, and it's just brought up the beautiful timber work so well. And then it's replicated on the bedroom doors. Again, a beautiful feature done with the um, timber panelling. I mean, that's just something we love doing at the moment is creating our own door designs. And your carpenter can just do that so easily. How gorgeous. And I can see... Um, Bonnie's been very busy here with her paint samples, which I'm so glad she's been doing all these paint samples. And I have no idea, to be honest, what's gonna happen now with these walls. It's clear that we've done the ceiling. Uh, one of these colors, I don't know which one, but that's not my job. That's Bonnie's job to choose the colors and make sure it gets painted. So I can't wait to find out which color it is. So in every kid's bedroom, it's lovely to encourage a little bit of study time or a little bit of homework time. So putting in a little built-in desk is a great idea that we love to do. I know I did it in my son's bedroom. And here is a really nice deep one. I mean, you could even put some little shelves there, but uh, this is going, that's all you need. And that's not expensive to build. Um, it works perfectly. Now, Mr. Harley, the middle child, he has a little room, there's not much happening and we want to do something kind of quirky and fun for him. I think I've seen the perfect bed, come and have a look. I mean, take away the girly stuff and if we just had the linen. And I mean, who doesn't love a canopy bed? I mean, I nearly want to just sleep in it and hide. I'd just like lie in it and hide from my children and put these down. So cute. I'm loving all the kids' homeware at the moment in Freedom. It is so cute. I mean. Look at that. It's a basket. It's a pineapple rattan basket. And I've just spotted an elephant on the wall. It's so cute for her room. The kid stuff here is really good. It's hard to find kid stuff. What would a room be without a hanging chair? Can you just step on that again with more confidence this time? Okay, it's quite wobbly. Just pretend you're on Survivor and do it. Go. That's why I can't be on Survivor. Go. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Took all away. All right. How nice oh, is that? Stunning. This is interesting. Yeah. It's a bit sort of tribal. It's a bit tribal. Yeah. Zebra. Well, it is a bit tribal. You wait till we bring in all the other stuff. What we've got. And then just bringing in this whole world of mustard. mustard mixed with the greens, you know, look at that. So he got the fun bit. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And I mean, the fact that you can just, yeah, pop these down as if he's not going to love that. See that weight? Did you see that then? Like, it's like oh, a... It's so well made. So well made. Look at it. Oh, God. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so safari. Oh, that's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. What's it? Oh my God, a little old, um, yeah, I'm, I'm now filming you. Old school. Oh, it actually works. Teenagers styling. You've got to find like quirky little weird things. I thought that was the, I thought it was the rude finger. Oh. Well, it almost is. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, the other finger. Yeah. You've got the focus of all your art and the feature here. You've got colour, double print and the... What's that called? Um, um, hang ten? Ridgy ditch. <laughs> <laughs> How old are we? <laughs> um, um, oh, shaka. Sha no, sh um, um, Aloha? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know really cool people are watching this right now <laughs> just going, oh my god, they've got no idea. I know. Book. Done. We are. Boom. Done. That was good. We did that quick today.
bathroom is a great example of layout. Mm -hmm. So layout in a small bathroom is key because it's what you visually look at first. Mm. I think the tiles from mm. Tile Cloud are certainly Correct. the hero in the room, but they're complemented by, I know what you're saying, the mm. old, old fashioned school, yeah, that's what race tapware, particularly on the bathroom, yeah. it's like that telephone. The Hello. Telephone. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How come we, or you, chose those <laughs> wall sconces that look like bronze yeah. when everything else in the room is chrome? Um, yeah, I don't have an issue with mixing metals at all. And I wanted them to look um, worn and old. I just think most people would think you can't. Yeah. And I want to show that you can. On the floor of the main bathroom, we chose tiny little square marble look tiles, whereas I'm used to the big format. For me, they're that vintage feel and they look like they've been there forever, but look really beautiful. bedrooms. That was just about what can we do with paint, what can we do with building in beds. I love yeah. built in beds. Mm -hmm. You know Kai the eldest has got mm -hmm. the coolest room anyone has seen. Jade's got the beautiful built in bed. You can have two girlfriends oh, over and heaven. it's just gorgeous. And then we we're like oh what's Harley going to get. But then through detailing, colour mm -hmm. and then a bed from Freedom. He got something that was really cool too. And even the elephant on the wall, that sort of safari feel. The colour, the colour on that wall. What's it called again? Um, cool. cool. It's made cool. extra cool because of the in trim panels. I mean, again, we're back to in trim, but it just <laughs> changed that room when yeah. we couldn't change anything else really. Yeah, yeah that's and, what you guys do. Yeah. And the study nook, like for instance, remember mm. we were looking at that little cupboard. It's too deep for a cupboard, such a waste yeah. of space. And we thought, let's make um, it a study nook. Kai's room, oh, I mean, yeah, he, he struck that. gold with the pitch ceiling for starters. The way it's turned out and the way we've used the storage space that was hiding behind the walls to create the built-in double the beds. Best. It's just gorgeous and I totally was expecting a white ceiling. Why did we go jade green? I didn't want the whole house to be blue. It Even has that calming blue. water feel to it. It still has that coastal feel because there's mm -hmm. lots of little coastal moments. I mean, he's got the surfboard, yeah. he's got the artwork that mm. talks about that surfing. Palm from freedom. Yeah, but then the beautiful. cool light on the ceiling. Oh. You know, that throws the symmetry. Oh, the, uh, that, yeah, that yeah. really throws all that. So there's another pop of wallpaper. I love mm. it. Yeah, and, and it's different to what I might have expected. I wanted it to just be a moment in time on the walls where you went, oh, that's kind of cool. Jade's room. Oh. Oh. Is that every little girl's dream? Right. The colour, and I know we were worried that it wasn't going to be pink enough. Do you oh, remember yeah, we, we were like, like Bonnie, I think pink. Bonnie's eyes are going, we cannot see the, <laughs> the colour lip gloss pink. Lip gloss. She's like, trust me, it'll mm. get bigger and bolder and bigger and bolder and it's, it's like pink. It's a very, very pink room. It was the nature of those patterns from Florence Broadhurst. That mm. There was nearly vintage. They had that mm. vintage it's kind of vibe and pink. it was softer. Yeah. And, that, and then you bring in the rattan. I just think little Jade is going to run into that room and mm. up the stairs to the top of the bunk. Mm -hmm. There's prints, there's colour, there's the tapware, which is that traditional chrome with the white lever handles. What about the mirror in there? Has anyone even noticed oh, that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bamboo? Oh, the dark bamboo. No. no. It's white. No. <laughs> the dark bamboo one is in the study. And that's gold. <laughs> <laughs> there is no dark bamboo in this Where house. Where is the dark bamboo? In your you're, brain. You're telling the story, aren't In know. your imagination. The outside area was really important for this family. Are we going to push past our time frame? Yeah, about four weeks. This backyard is not going to be cheap. They want a basketball court. Our challenge is going to be creating some zones. Yeah, that's increasing my worry. <laughs> it's exceeded my expectation. I cannot wait to see their faces.